Welcome to our Church Windows Contributions to Donations uh, Prepper Conversion Presentation. Uh, we're here to talk about the preparation or the steps to completing the conversion from Church Windows Contributions to Donations. Uh, a few things uh, initially before we begin the conversion process. Uh, the, you know, the system is requiring at this point that our users begin the conversions over to both accounting and donations uh, in order to install the future versions of the software. Our current version of Church Windows is version 16.13.2. Uh, this is the last version, again, that we can install and use Church Windows that will support both contributions and financial. We've already taken care of our conversion from financial to accounting. That has to occur first if you own both of the modules. Uh, and if once you've converted over to the accounting module, then you can decide when you want to convert over to the donations module from contributions. Please check your version. <clears throat> if you're on support with us and you do have the CD, please upgrade to the latest version. And again, make sure that the software opens and it does say 16.13.2. So before we actually run through the conversion for uh, the conversion process from contributions to donations, there's a few things I do want to point out beforehand. Uh, if you're you know, folks are very much intimidated by this conversion process and by the prospect of learning a new program. Uh, you know, yes, while the software is new and it does more things, they are simply better programs. Uh, but there are certainly lots of resources available to you to uh, prepare yourself for the transition. First of all, if we click on contributions and special functions at the bottom here in our submenu, we do see our option labeled, of course, convert to new donations module, which we will get to here in just a few minutes. But right below that, we do see the option labeled new donations preview donations preview movie. Please spend a few minutes or some time looking at this movie as it will go through and show you many of the wonderful new bells and whistles and features that donations offers. Uh, it's definitely, it can be, it's there for you to review over and over and over again. Uh, you can always, if you don't have an installation on your home computer, you can review this also at the Church Windows website, www.churchwindows.com. Um, and again, until you actually convert over, uh, this is available in this view, in this sub menu here under contribution, special functions, anytime. So that's one of the first things that we're going to advise that you look at, uh, you know, just to sort of acclimate yourself with what you're, you know, what to prepare yourself for uh, in the new donations module. The other thing that we always like to point out, uh, that we're wanting to point out also on our support calls is that when we open up our web browser and we go to www.churchwindows.com, down the left side under support, we do have the section here called conversion transition. And so when we left click on that link once, we do see right here uh, in the center donations, we have our contributions to donations conversion preparation document, a quick reference guide, and a document to handling or dealing with duplicate givers. Uh, the definitely the one that we would strongly recommend looking at initially, while they're all helpful, will be this conversion preparation document. Simply it details uh, a couple minor things uh, that we advise that you look at or strongly advise that you look at or consider pre-conversion over to uh, donations. Um, as well as, of course, detailing the steps to completing the conversion itself. It is a PDF file, and again, you can access that online anytime. Uh, also, on our CD for Church Windows, so if we go down to Computer, and we've got our version 16.13.2 CD in the drive, if we click on the Browse CD option, and it'll we open up to the various files and folders on the uh, disk, we do see a folder called manuals that when we do open double click to open that we see our donations uh, uh, manuals in a PDF format that can be either accessed on the CD saved off the disk to the local machine or of course uh, you can print a hard copy of that uh, anytime uh, finally in addition to that uh, once we get back into over in church windows again our help files of course are all are updated for both church windows donations and accounting and uh, so you can always look in there for further information within the software itself. And of course, uh, you can always pick up the phone and call technical support 1-800-533-5227. And our technicians will be delighted to answer any questions that you have uh, about donations. The final step uh, to, before completing the conversion itself, in addition to looking at those after you've revealed that conversion, reviewed the conversion preparation document and perhaps you know, followed some of the suggestions in there, would be to go into our system administration and make a backup of our data. Just in case, it never hurts. You know, we're making a very, very large change to the data itself. 
and the so making a backup of the data just for our peace of mind definitely never hurts. You can never have too many backups. When the backup is completed and you've reviewed the documentation, uh, you're ready for the conversion. Again, we must have accounting first, have converted to accounting before we can then convert over to donations. So we clearly see accounting here where that portion of the requirement is, is taken care of and so we can now complete the conversion to donations. And this is really nothing to be intimidated by. Um, it's a very straightforward process. You'll probably spend more time again preparing for the conversion to donations than actually it will take for the system to convert the data for you. Um, but when you're ready to do that, and you've backed up, you'll simply click on Contributions, Special Functions, you know, Convert to New Donations module, and it pops with a up up with a dialog box that says this is going to convert you from contributions to donations, checking the website for the latest updates, you know, click Help for more, you know, information, No to cancel or Yes to complete. So we're ready to go ahead and complete it. We're going to click Yes on that. So we click on it, and the screen it does it, the system does its own little internal check process here and then we see the progress gauges here that talks about the various steps as the progress as the conversion progress uh, occurs so we're just going to simply sit here and wait for this to complete and it clearly says at the top that data conversion can take a long time do not turn off your computer until this process is complete it generally takes anywhere between you know, five minutes maybe, and maybe 15 or 20. Again, that much of that depends on the size of your database, you know, how the speed of your computer, you know, there are several factors that impact how quickly or how long the conversion can take itself. Um, but notice here it does say converting contributions year starting with 13, and it'll go back year by year. It will convert all of your um, giving accounts, all of your previous uh, batches, all of your previous pledges, all of your envelope numbers that are assigned to folks. Everything that's been in the system historically will convert over as part of this, as part of the conversion process. So simply, we're going to work some movie magic here and uh, kind of speed up this process, you know, till it gets to the very end of the conversion process, and we will, uh, and we'll talk about, you know, and make sure that the conversion is completed. So after our conversion from contributions to donations is complete, the system will tell us, you know, things, it'll, it'll, you'll see the progress, overall progress move over there until you get this dialog box that says it's completed. And when we click OK, it exits, exits us out of church windows. And when we log back into church windows, if you have login information or, you know, security requirements to get into the program, you'll be prompted for those. And when we log back in, we clearly see now in the center that the software now shows donations instead of the contributions module. So again, the conversion process uh, over to uh, donations from contributions isn't something to be terribly uh, you know, worried or stressed out about. It's very straightforward. The system takes care of it for you. And the, you know, our support technicians, if you have any questions or problems, are simply a phone call or an email away. Again, our toll-free number is 1-800-533-5227. And if you have any questions, we'll look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.